So apparently you guys like to monetize your Discord servers because I recently did some video content about how you can monetize your Discord server. I'll link it on the card above. That's been a, quite a popular video. One of the options that I gave was to put your Discord behind a sort of paywall. And there are different ways that you can do that. Discord themselves have already got like a Discord membership option. But at the moment, that's not fully unlocked throughout the world. I'm in the UK, for example, and I cannot get access to that right now. However, I've recently come across payroll.io and this is a function that you can add to your server right now it takes a couple of minutes to set up and all you need is a stripe account the really good thing about this as well is that it takes less of a percentage of your membership as well essentially the rolling payments that you get through payroll.io are more profitable than what you would get through discord and it allows your community members to support you if they want to do that without having to give something like 50 percent of the revenue to twitch or 25 percent of the revenue to Patreon. In this video, I'm going to be going through how you can set payroll.io on your Discord server, set up the roles, and basically how you can get it all running. Payroll's super, super customizable, so hopefully throughout this video, you'll get some great ideas on how you can customize that for your own Discord servers. Hopefully, you find this video super useful. If you do, please hit the like button. It really, really helps me. Hit the subscribe button, do whatever you want, and let's go. Full disclosure, this is a sponsored video by payroll.io. But as I'd already created some monetization content already, it really made good sense for me to take this. And I'll explain exactly why. First of all, the Discord monetization video that I've already done is incredibly popular. And at the time, I didn't really know many different options for putting a Discord behind a paywall. Secondly, this tool is incredibly easy to use. And you'll see that throughout this video. And thirdly, and probably most importantly, I really hate the fact that companies take a big cut of the money that your community members will be donating to you. For example, if you're on Twitch and you're an affiliate, 50% of the revenue that you make from subs will go to Twitch. That to me is just mind-blowingly ridiculous. Even with YouTube, it's 30%. I think Facebook have committed to giving 100% to creators. However, that's not guaranteed forever. It's only for a certain amount of time. With payroll.io, they only take a transaction fee. I think it's just 3%. So what are you actually going to need in order to install payroll onto your Discord server. Well, first of all, you need a Discord server. Secondly, you're going to need something to connect to Stripe. So some sort of bank account where you can receive payments and send payments to Stripe. Thirdly, you're going to need to install payroll.io onto your Discord server, and you're going to need to set up a Stripe account. These are the four things you need to be able to set this up on your Discord server. Okay, so what is payroll.io? Basically, people can pay to get a role in your server. So you can literally monetize a role in your Discord. Discord server. However, it's not as simple as that because you can also open up new channels and new functions and perks as a result of giving someone a role. The whole process of doing that is automated and with payroll, it also can add a recurring subscription as well. Here we get a little bit of a feel for payroll itself and the dashboard, but we'll dig into this in a bit more detail. So far, they're in more than 400 servers and they've got more than 7 million in sales and they've processed more than 100,000 payments. So to set up payroll on your server, you're going to need to navigate navigate to payroll.io. If you want here, you can view a demo and read up a little bit more about the company. But essentially what we're going to do here is set up an account. You can also look at the documents and look at their own Discord server. So now we need to set up a Stripe account before we can connect this to our Discord server. This is because we need to be able to connect payroll to Stripe so that there is a processing mechanism in the background. Setup of Stripe is pretty straightforward. You just need to type in some business information. It's not a problem if you don't have a business, you can just process these as personal payments. Uh, and obviously you have to handle your own tax affairs. You need to set up some personal details, some business details, the fulfillment information. So how those payments and services will be fulfilled. And then obviously your bank details and things like that. Overall, the process of setting Stripe took me around about three or four minutes. If you set everything up correctly, your dashboard on Stripe should say your account is now active and you'll see this blue tick mark. So now we need to hit the login button and basically basically connect this to your Discord server. Once you've done that, you're basically ready to start customizing the subscriptions and the roles themselves, which is the fun bit. Now, straight away, when you log into payroll, you'll be greeted with like a sort of demo dashboard. So you'll see uh, some revenue information and the number of purchases, but it just gives you a feel for what information you can get once your dashboard is fully up and running. We'll see at the top, there is a message saying you are currently in demo mode. To get started, click here to link a payment provider. So we're just going to go ahead and link 
Stripe. Now it's already detected for me that I'm logged in with Stripe. So that's really, really useful. Now at this point, the dashboard will reset and you will no longer see the demo data because it's pulling in the real payments information from Stripe. Now, when I set this up, I did come across this error message briefly and I had to just speak with payroll to resolve this. What I'm going to do now is just show on screen a URL. It's this dashboard that you need to make sure is set up correctly in Stripe. If it's not set up correctly in Stripe, then you cannot set it up correctly in payroll. So you just need to make sure that all the information is completed there and make sure that you refresh. And if that still doesn't work, just wait a couple of minutes for it all to take effect. And then you should be able to connect payroll properly. If in doubt, feel free to join the payroll.io Discord. And I'll link that in the description below. I'm sure they'll be more than happy to help you connect this to your Discord. If everything goes well, you will now have access to the payroll dashboard and all of these buttons on the left hand side. Now, just to note here, I'm filming this video now, but I'm sure they're going to mess around with these menus in the fullness of time. So if something isn't quite right, just remember this is a tool that's continually being improved and updated. So now what I need to do is look at packages. Now, this is where I can set up test packages. I'm actually going to go ahead and delete this test pack package here. So you'll see this blank screen here. And all we need to do is plus icon here. And we're going to give the package a name. These are different packages that you can give that then grant a role to your server. Now you could just have a single role, which is like membership. Keep it really, really simple. Or you may want to have multiple tiers, sort of like a gold, silver, bronze kind of scenario. If you get really playful and creative with this, you may want to link it to your type of content as well. Now I'm coming at the angle from streaming and gaming, but this payroll can be used for anything. It can be used for cryptocurrency trading techniques and like call outs. It can be used for access to early products in a certain market. There's a load of different ways that this can be used. Me personally, I play a lot of Rust. So I know my community know that I play a lot of Rust. So I'd like to give a badge where it offers perks depending on whether or not they're subscribed at a certain level. And it just so happens that in Rust, you get a tier one, a tier two and a tier three workbench. So I'm going to theme my roles around the tier one, two and three workbench. And I'm going to give different perks based on those three things. Now, at this point, you can be as creative or as boring as you'd like. For test purposes here, I'm just going to blast through what this looks like. I put here a tier one bench at $1 price mark, and I'm going to have it $1 per month. Now, there are loads of different options here. You can have it lifetime membership, custom number of months or days. You can also say that there is a free trial period within which they'll be able to cancel. So you may say you are allowed to have this server role for a day, and then it becomes the full period rather than a trial. And now we can start adding bullet points all about this particular level. This is quite cool because they've built in icons and all that kind of stuff that you can put in here. It looks like they've already got a toolbox. I'm going to have a toolbox icon here and I'm going to start to tell people now what they get for this paid role in my server. Now, at this point, we need to select the actual reward that they get, which will be, of course, a Discord role. Remember, the whole point of this is that you're monetizing the roles and then you use the roles themselves to implement different perks for people, be those offline or online perks. Now, I've already connected this to my test server and on that test server, I've set up a specific role for this particular reward. So let's hop into Discord. As we can see, payroll is here as a bot in this server because I previously authorized that as shown earlier in the video. Video. We're now going to go into server settings and I'm going to go into roles. Now I've set up a role here called tier one bench and I've put a little woodwork icon there. The icons are pretty cool. I recommend adding these and I have got a video all about uh, setting up roles on Discord, which I'll link in the card like here and in the description below. So we've got this tier one bench. Um, I can now edit this to give it a certain color, permissions, links and manage the members that have this as well. So if you need to ban someone, that kind of thing. I'm going to make this brown because the workbench is rust is brown as well it's made out of wood here's where we're able to set the permissions for that particular role i'm not going to go into all the ins and outs about how you can set up permissions for that particular role because that's quite a large video and this is already going to be quite a long video but suffice to say when you add a role with extra permissions it will unlock new channels that become visible and it can unlock all kinds of other perks within discord that they only get once they've paid for that subscription there's a lot of nuance to this and i will do a separate video all about discord roles i can test to see that this 
role is available on my server by right clicking one of the names and looking at roles and I can see here that it is available one final tip here on the settings and the roles here make sure that you are displaying the role members separately from online members it just means on the right hand side of your discord server those people that are paying to support you actually get some kudos and you can show them on your server so now for this tier one package I'm going to select my discord server here and I'm going to select the tier one bench role this now means that we have information about the membership we've linked it to the correct server and we've linked it to the correct role once you've finished setting up your package or number of packages you'll then obviously be able to save it you can delete them if you want or amend them and then you've got this option for an embed link an embed link is just you can copy this and paste that link this is a link that you will direct people to that will sort of prompt them to make the subscription and you can add this on an embed within discord or something like that or just put it on your website or in your content or maybe on your twitch streams or something like that so now when i enter this package so essentially it's like i've clicked on a link and it will basically confirm that me as machine dana wants to continue with this purchase so really this is just a little check to say do you want this account to have that membership purchase or do you want to switch the account to something else i'm going to continue with the machine dana account and paywall will redirect me to the stripe page for this particular product and it just gives all of the recurring information and of course i as a consumer as a subscriber can put in my payment details into stripe now i just want to show you what this looks like within stripe a product has automatically been created within stripe and we can now click into this and see all of the detail again it's copied over some of that information from payroll automatically and this happens pretty much instantly so now at this point you've got your discord server set up you've got the role set up within discord server you've got it behind a paywall you've also got it linked to a payment provider that can transact for you and take those payments you're basically all set to go they are the basic components to get this up and running the rest is just creativity but what i'm now going to do is just give you a flavor for some of the other functions that are available in payroll.io so because of the integration between payroll and stripe you can search for names or email addresses or even packages here so you can see all of your purchases within payroll you can also run specific promotions so again you could select the provider in this case being stripe i'm sure they'll add different providers down the line give it a promotional name give it a coupon code and basically define how much off they get so if you wanted to run a promotion you can do that through this tab here there's also referrals i think what referrals is is that you as the creator can set up referral links to let other people encourage other subscribers to subscribe and you will give them maybe a kickback so let's say for example if one of your community members maybe one of your mods gets three people to sign up you could maybe say that they get 30 percent of the revenue here you can search through the referrers themselves so you can see who has done what also on the access tab here you can create a moderator invite link this just allows you to allow your moderators to do some things with inside your payroll.io dashboard essentially to amend products and things like that now that you've created these products on the store page here payrolls created a store page for you so you can copy the link to the store page here or we can click directly through it by clicking this button here and this is the page that payroll has set up a nice clean looking page that will display all of your different roles that you've set up now, i've only got one set up here but if i had three or four it would display them all here and you can then use that link uh, to push out to your community so that was payroll.io i'm sure you'll agree great function super easy to set up and hopefully allows you to get monetization from your discord server and also your discord server members to support you if they so wish to do so hopefully you enjoyed this if you did hit the like button i really really appreciate it feel free to comment and let me know how you're applying this to your server and i'll see you later have a nice day